Hi and welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome if you are new here and also equally welcome if you have been here, here with me before. This week um, I have another little parcel from Timu. This one I've actually shopped strategically I should say. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine, Anita, and she suggested that I started doing um, some videos on Timu parcels but for a reason or a price range. So this one I've done for both. So my limit was £10. I think I actually spent £10.18 pence in total but £10 the minimum order from Timu and to shop around things to hit that exact 10 on the nose I thought you'll all let me off the extra 18 pence. So I've gone with a Christmas theme so whether they're stocking fillers or in my household we do something called table presents where it's usually a five pound limit and somebody will buy or you'll tell who you need to buy for and a little gift that is tailored for them for a budget but as I said these are all the things I've got were £10.18 in total so I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on what these are. My daughter ripped the bag open but I haven't looked at what's in here and I haven't opened anything properly. She was excited for something specific um, which I haven't let her have yet because I wanted to do this video for you. So um Again, this is not sponsored in any way. These are all my honest opinions and I haven't tried any of these out yet. So it's just my first views, um, opinions. So here we go. All right, so the first one is a, my trusty little knife still comes in very handy. It's a silicon, mold shaped like a christmas tree and it's got i can see on the back it's easier to make them out i suppose but you've got your christmas tree a stocking with some holly a reindeer a candy cane a snowman and all right i see it's a little santa upside down but they're molds now my thinking is to put some fresh or frozen cranberries in them fill them up with water and use them use it as festive ice cubes but you could use it you could melt chocolate um, with different things in and melt them in I just thought it's it's just a bit of fun for Christmas it's a silicon mold it feels good content uh, excuse me it feels um strong it doesn't feel flimsy or like it's only going to get one use I will try and I don't know which side it'll be on I will try and um link or at least something similar if the exact thing, because I know Timu changes things and discontinues things all the time. But I will try and link, but as I said, everything in here, £10.18 in total. So it tells you it can't have been very much. Um, but I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I will, after I've made this video, um, before I edit it, I will go and put some just water in and try and freeze it and let you know how that goes. So I'm quite happy with that. All right, yes. Now this, again, it's, you could gift it. Um, I think it would actually make quite a nice gift for someone, but it's a set of festive cookie cutters. Yeah, I can't read that. <laughs> but yes, so you have um, a snowman, gingerbread man, Sorry, you probably can't see these brilliant gingerbread man. That's the snowman. A festive snowflake type shape. A reindeer. And a Christmas tree. So that's one, two, three, four, five festive cutters. They're not, I mean, they're not the strongest. You can, I think you could probably see that the, the squishy uh, and I suppose if you're too heavy handed with them you could bend them out of shape um, 
but what a nice little gift. I'm going to use these to make some Christmas cookies myself. I'm not going to gift these ones because um, I don't have any festive shaped cookie cutters and I think they're a nice size. So yeah, very happy with that one. Again, I will try and add or show you if I had success or failure with it. So next one, which is what my daughter, one of the things my daughter was hanker, hankering for. A little penguin. It's a bit like a squishmallow, probably not quite as, I mean, it's very soft. It feels almost like velvet. That does feel very nice. Um, and it's got a little key ring on it. They had these in, I want to say, probably at least 20 other characters. I just chose the penguin because I thought he was cute. Um, so that again, my daughter's hoping for this. Um, and she's she's nearly 20, but she really likes this. Um, but what a lovely little gift for a, a teenager or a child or, you know, I'd personally ha have that on my key ring anyway. So anyone in your life who likes a little bit of soft toyness but as I say it feels the the coating on it 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 feels really nicely made it's very full of stuffing um so they haven't skimped on that there's no apart from the key ring there's no sharp or hard parts to it yeah I really like that I might actually get some more and I think they'd make a lovely you could you could actually you could get a load of them because they're really inexpensive and hang them on your Christmas tree as decorations very pleased with that we're going quite well here uh next one so that's one two three so far again 10 pound 18 pence in total we have probably more aimed at children children this and again they had packaging wise they had quite a few different styles on the top is a pencil sharpener Again, I keep going out of focus, but yeah, on the top on the lid is a pencil sharpener. And inside is a set of colouring pencils. All really, they're really nice. They're all solid wood with just the, the colour bit. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different colours. Um... See if I've got a little bit of paper. Ignore what the, what is on the paper, but you can see at the top there they have squiggled the orange and the blue there. They work perfectly fine. Um, they're not massively long, but you know, for a little gift for small children or adults, if you know anyone who likes colouring in. Um, I personally like a longer for my hands, but that's because I'm, I don't have much feeling in my hands. So I need I need to know I'm holding something. Um, but yeah, how cute are they? And I think mine's looks, I suppose, I want to say maybe a little raccoon type character on the front of mine. But they had quite a few to choose from. You didn't get to choose your colours. Obviously, they just send you a random selection of colours. And I like that it's got a pencil sharpener on the lid as well. Yet another, very happy with. All right, this one I need some batteries with to make sure it actually works, so bear with me. I'm back. Right, so it's just a tiny little set of lights. Very small, very fine. I could use the little knife blade, but I'd be scared I'd cut through it. And they're battery charged, so... I have got my batteries. Um, all right, they've actually twisted it with itself. Now that's gonna that's gonna confuse me for hours. <laughs> have to unwrap that because the wire, instead of there being a little tie wire, they've actually used its own wire. That's going to confuse me. Um, leave that with me. Does that need? Oh, good. It's not one of the ones that needs a 
one of those tiny little screwdrivers you only seem to be able to get in crackers. Um, takes two AA batteries. Oh, and it works. Um, if only I could work out how to untie that. Oh, I found an end. This could also give you hours of fun on Christmas Day. When you're waiting and you don't want to serve dinner until everyone's opened their table present. Three hours later. I think we've got it. Yay. It's just a really fine wire. That's got these little lights on but that if you've got a little christmas tree or a little floral display on your on your christmas table or just any time of the year that you like to have little fairy lights on which for me is all the time um and because it's wire you could shape it easily for how you want it so yeah i'm really pleased with that another winner and last one, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, number six things I've managed to get. For how much? Say it with me. <laughs> 10 pounds, 18 pence. And that obviously in most Timu is free delivery. Now these, I'm probably not going to be able to test for you because these are being gifted but I will try and put a little photo link from Timu for you to see what they look like oh my goodness it's a test this for me I'm trying to open everything there we go only problem with Timu is but Ah, right. Okay, now this isn't going to be very easy for me to show you because it's folded. But it's a sheet of, I don't know if you're going to pick them up, but white snowflakes of different patterns, different sizes. Um, and I wanted to try these, but I've actually got them. My daughter, where she lives in London, they have a big glass window between their kitchen dining room and the hall. And she's in um, with other students that they're, they're all sharing. And when it was uh, Halloween, they decorated that window with um, bats and things like that. And I thought, well, snowflakes for Christmas. Um, so, yes, I will uh, try and link a picture of what they look like because I don't know how well I think you can pick it up a little bit but it's you know white snowflakes shiny white snowflakes on white so I will try and link that below, below sorry um right so that is my little mini Timu Christmas novelty bits I suppose um, and I'm really pleased with all of them. So I hope it gives you the confidence. As I said in a previous video, the, I've only ever had one thing from Timu that just was no good at all. And that I've linked in a previous video. So check that out. Uh, it's just a shower hair catcher. But I'm really, really looking forward to trying all of these. So um, thank you for watching. And as I'll say, I will try and keep you updated as to how they work. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Hi, just a quick catch up. Um, I've just filled the ice cube tray. I've just put um, a couple of blueberries, which is the berries I've, I've got in the fridge and filled them up. That was fine. But then because it's quite really flexible, trying to lift it up was really difficult. So I've had to slide it onto a hard tray suitable for freezing, it's just a baking tray and slide that into the fridge like that because 
as soon as you try and pick it up, it's not sturdy enough and the water obviously just drains straight out. So fingers crossed we will have ice cubes. So I'm just having a go with my cutters. So there's the cookie cutters. And here is the biscuits I've made. The cutters have worked really well. Um, as I already said, they're quite flexible. So obviously when you're washing and drying them, you need to be careful. And I have a feeling, um, I don't know, that, but they might, I've always had problems with cookie cutters and um, scone cutters and things like that, is if you don't dry them, they can go rusty. And I just get the feeling, I could be wrong, but I get the feeling these might. So I would suggest that you do wash and dry them by hand. Sorry about the noise. Uh, I've got the dishwasher on and the kettle on. So I wasn't thinking very well, but I just wanted to show you. So this is the silicon mold. It's been in the freezer overnight. Okay, that my Christmas tree. That's come out really easily. Ah, and the reindeer. I was worried the antlers might not survive, but they've come out fine. I think that's meant to be my little Santa or elf, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I need a snowman. That's the candy cane with its little holly leaves. And lastly, it's also come out perfectly, is the little stocking, also with its little holly leaves on the top. So all in all, that, certainly for ice, if you can put it on something sturdy that you can slide it in and out of the freezer um, because as soon as you try and pick that up with water it, it just yeah but absolutely thrilled with all of those brilliant if you've got people over for christmas drinks you could put these in a freezer bag once they're frozen and and make extra molds uh, and make extras very pleased